Hello everybody, this is the Cecilimento here, and welcome back to another episode of the War Colonies. And in this episode, I will be exploring the Nether over there. But first, I want to inform you guys on a few updates of the colony. So the last time you guys saw, uh, we were I was building a, a few guard towers and stuff, but now we've done a few changes. And also, the first notable thing is... I. The lack of levels that I had from 40 to 30 now. I died uh, during a exploration trip down in the mines. So that set me back quite a bit. But I got to level 30 pretty relatively quickly. But yeah, the first thing is we, uh, we moved uh, some of the... Well, Amon moved uh, all the mechanism stuff and solar panels over there. Uh, I upgraded a few of the stuff such as the the builder's hut that's level two now mm. the tavern's still the same and now we have a university so now we also and uh i installed a second guard tower there so uh that's a uh, archer now and uh, one of the archers did die because uh, she tried to uh, it was a daughter of uh, our builder tried to pick a fight with uh a zombie at close range with a bow and arrow net and that went about as well as you expected and that guard tower i think is level three now so uh denise x harris is doing pretty okay and uh he has uh i mean he was very generous he got us a jetpack and if you wondered what happened to my atomic disassembler i almost spent all the energy on it during a massive uh, vein mining trip which uh gathered quite a bit of resources for um, and so I'm sure he'll be understanding and willing to charge us as I have no clue how to. Benedict X Sparrow, get out of my cow, uh, get out of the cow pen. And the colony is slowly, uh, the colony is slowly growing, obviously. And uh, I think the next thing uh, I want to work on is, obviously, besides going to the north, is uh, getting, building up our military forces. And uh, here I'll show you one thing: is uh, I built a pretty crude airfield, a crude uh, airstrip right here, made out of cobblestone for for little wooden planes to fly over. And uh, I did. Uh, Jonah requested to come and visit and get some milk, and I allowed him that. And I let, and in return, I was able to see his colony. And his colony is pretty huge. Very impressive. Good job. And, uh, let's see. Still the same old refined armor without any enchant- Like, I do not know how to work the enchantment table. Like, uh, Liam and Amon have, have explained it. Sort of like, it's sort of like a game of Tetris, but you have no clue what you're doing. So I'm gonna have to ask them, like, how to do it. And I was gonna say, like, one other thing, but I forgot, which is very unfortunate. Uh... Nope, can't remember. I'll probably look back at the video and just be like, oh, it was that thing I was going to say. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. Uh, we almost had a bit of conflict. Uh, but basically what happened was uh, uh, we we have this guy on the server, uh, Jared Jinx. Um, you guys might know him from a few, like, very, like, you might know him from a few War Thunder videos and, uh, he has a three-person colony with Baseball Star being sort of part of them, but he has his own stuff, which uh, he's neutral in in what was going to happen. So what happened was Liam wanted uh, to go spy on Jared's base because he kept on seeing uh, Jared and his other guy just going down like below their main colony and into like sort of like a underground compartments and uh, on the surface it's real his colony is a bunch of like under construction under construction stuff along with like the few like two buildings and a wooden windmill and Liam uh, wanted to go spy on it, but he felt lazy that one night and told me to go uh, explore. And uh, his uh, his uh, settlement is actually pretty easy to uh, f 
fine. Uh, it's by Nether Travel, actually. And uh, what basically happened was he sent me to go and do it, and I did it, and it's partially my fault. It's it's like we both share, me and Liam both share faults for even attempting to do this. Think of this conflict as sort of like the Cuban Missile Crisis, but without like any U2s or missiles. Yeah, so I uh, was exploring around and I found this uh, pit with a iron golem in it, and uh, I fell it. I sort of like went down there to see like what it was, but they had like one of their ladders missing, and it was and you know how Minecraft where like you have to have like you have to have like one ladder per block to be able to climb up successfully. You can't like skip ladders for a block because up. Because apparently you cannot just like reach up and pull yourself up, which is a uh, understandable. But yeah, so I and I wasn't I, I was uh, in their uh, colony uh, neutral, so I couldn't really break any blocks or interact with anything at all. So I was stuck down there, and I couldn't get out. And Jared was not uh, kind to. Uh, strangers in his colony and uh he got even more angry when i told him that i was spying on liam's behalf which i really should not have done but in hindsight it was i was a bit desperate and basically what happened was uh he threatened to kill me but uh the thing was i have the backing of Three superpowers, uh, two superpowers. Pleasure. That being Liam, who has like a nuclear arsenal full of weapons, not like really nuclear, but uh, a bunch of weapons and super powerful stuff, along with the super state that is uh, Jonah's colony, which uh, he just left, unfortunately. Good night. And essentially, I. Uh, they told me to, they told Jared to, like, not kill me and to let me out, and at first he refused, and, uh, we were trying to solve this, uh, uh, we were trying to solve this, we were trying to resolve this peacefully on the, uh, War Colony server, which, uh, a bunch of debates were going back and forth between Jared Jenks Artillery and, versus, uh, both, uh, Jonah and Liam, and, um, uh, they... And Jonah uh, created a little group chat, and uh, uh, he had an operation uh, titled Operation Recovered Carbon, which was solely for the reason of getting me out of there. And uh, their plan was to uh, basically give J.R. Jinx an ultimatum where if uh, he didn't release me by the end of Saturday, but just so you guys know this was... Uh, this happened all on a Monday. Uh, it was a Monday afternoon, so he had like plenty of time to think about it. And I got none of this on film, unfortunately. Uh, but it was sort of anticlimactic at the end, which is very disappointing, despite this being a war uh, server. Yeah, so basically, he was going to send him the ultimatum, where uh, if he released me, uh, freely, he would not attack, but he might like disarm like a little bit of him. Like mainly, he was talking about just like gunpowder and a bit of uh, his uh, energy supplies. And uh, Liam really wanted to test out his weapons, so both like both of them and including me were sort of like really hoping that he would choose war. But in the end, like I think it was on like. The Tuesday late at night or Wednesday early morning, he decided to uh, give in and let me out freely without any conflict. And what would what would happen if he chose war was uh, Jonah would have uh, waited until Saturday because that's when I have like a bunch of like Wi-Fi time, and he would have and that would have given him time to gear up his troops with like the minimum steel enchanted armor. And he had a ton of troops where he would just he and he, him and Liam would invade uh, simultaneously and just like attack Jared, kill them, uh, and hold them sort of hostage until Liam can like or one of them could like get to me and bring me out. And uh, after the conflict was resolved, uh, Jonah would probably would have disarmed him like almost completely of uh, 
any weapons that would cause uh, harm, but nothing to his colonies, because that takes quite a bit of work. But that didn't happen, and uh, he chose to let me uh, go freely, which uh, then Baseball Star uh, uh, let me out with uh, a few ladders. So that was, uh, so that's the whole, uh, what should I call this? The, Jer the Jerjinx Island Gladiator Pit Resolve. And I was just sitting there for like a day, which it wasn't that long, but I wasn't on, obviously, so it was like it was like nothing. So that's like all the conflict that has happened, and it's like the only conflict that happened, and the, a bit of tension there, which was a uh, pretty good for the server. But everyone just reminded everyone that this is like a war server, and not like an SMP. I thought it was Liam. And also, uh, on the other side of uh, thinking that was Liam, Liam has been playing, like, sort of hide-and-seek with, like, literally everyone in uh, their colony. It's easy. I don't, I don't know if he's done it to Jonah. I wouldn't be surprised if he has done it, because, like, he's just so powerful. He just has... He just has impunity to, like, everyone. Yeah, he's been just going around to the edges of people's base, bases and sort of, like, spamming, like, unintentionally the, uh, early warning alerts that someone's been entering and leaving the colony and occasionally taking pot shots at people with his, uh, super long rifle. Uh, and that's basically all that has happened in, like, the time of how long have I been monologuing for? I've been monologuing for 11 minutes, which is not very good considering... It is not very good considering I need to go to the nether. That's all. I will shut up now and I shall head to the nether. Okay, what was... Oh, hi. Yeah, this, this sword is... Incredibly powerful, and the fun fact: the refined obsidian axe actually swings quicker than uh, the sword. So basically, the goal of today is to find a fortress, like, just like the same as any like, other like world. And uh, for easy access, I have a jetpack, and I do need to shoot these mosquitoes, just like kill them all. And I am not the greatest shot with uh, the stuff because I'm a War Thunder player and I automatically lead at like yeah, what is that? He has armor on. Oh, Pigman has armor on. Yeah, so preemptive clearing the area of like any known threats. Probably need to write down the portal coordinates. Because I probably will be gone for, like, in the nether exploring for the majority of the video until I find, like, uh, stuff, uh, the fortress or a bastion. And, uh, I know that they've, I know that Jonah and Liam have found, like, a fortress, but, like, what's the fun in already going to a already looted fortress? Like, there's no fun in that. You gotta find your own stuff. Just give me a moment to write down these questions. Tapping with one hand is not efficient at all, but good enough. And there we go. Alright, now. Uh, it's, it's not the easy. It's not like the easiest. Oh god. I do want to be careful though with like just the controls and all that. Nothing there. I need to watch my fuel because I did not bring any spare fuel whatsoever. Oh, I do need glow stuff though. That's fine. Like, while it's strong PvP-wise, it's not like the greatest. 
greatest, like, it's not the greatest at, like, reducing, like, fall damage and fire protection, which is odd because it's obsidian, like, it's forged from lava and water. Obviously, it's been through some extensive uh, crushing and forging, so, and refining, obviously, and probably just loses a bit of the fire stuff, which is understandable, but a bit, like, like, annoying. It's just like, it sort of makes sense, like, like a little bit more fire protection. And I don't think I messed with any of the sound at all, so it's, this is probably going to get like really loud. So I do apologize, but I don't know if I want to mess with it because I sort of actually like the other soundtrack. Very like cavernous. And, how would I describe this place? How would I describe this area? It's not very easy to access. Uh, and it's very hard to traverse, especially if you're like really nervous with. Uh, Especially when you're really nervous with using like some of the methods of transportation, such as the jetpack, like I don't have like <laughs> Oh man, alright, gotta love that. Alright, let's see. I know Op gave me like try to follow the moves, but I gave it back to him. Come closer. Oh, this doesn't have a proper reload, so I can just spam it. Come here, you stupid bug. Why can't I hit you correctly? Your hitboxes are broken. There you go. Die. to go full Doom Slayer on these guys. How many bullets do I have left? Not a whole lot, but they're not exactly like expensive to make despite what like everyone says. Everyone is in Omen, so don't take that literally please. Go away, Piglin, you're not wanted. Not getting much exploring done. So I do apologize. <laughs> this nether is just awful. That's why I have this.
title will say exploring the netherland reality is just me monologuing for 11 minutes at the beginning and then fighting mosquitoes for the next half of it. Not exciting, is it? In which I apologize for. So I hope you accept my apology and I will not be doing a face. And I'll not be doing. <laughs> Oh. Why do I have to choose to record so late? It's like, oh no, I'm busy. Life. Stuff. Uh. Oh god, there's many of them. Oh, where they go. Bastion? It can't be a bastion. That is a bastion! Uh, what? What's that? Okay, so there's a skeleton dragon. And this probably is like unexplored, which is cool for me. So it seems like no one has found this, so this is mine to explore, which is pretty cool. I need to edge my back. I need that mending villager. I know it's like the mature village can barely use, but I don't want to have it to, like, to the point where it's like going to be like, really hard to. Oh god! What is that? Well, it died. Okay. He stood no chance. Mm -hmm. I want to get in the safe way and not have to mm -hmm. deal with I'm trying to jetpack over there. I 
think I'm close. I hope that should be getting a bit closer. Mm -hmm. It's probably like an easier way to access it that I'll find later. It's not even that far from portal spawn, which is pretty impressive. Usually you have to travel pretty far to find these. On some worlds, I should say. Not all of them are the same. So I can do pretty much... Well, in Prop 4 armor, yes, I could do bastions like pretty easily. Okay, it's not a bastion then. Okay. Another pyramid. This is like very like much like to deal with. Yeah, this is like next to What is that? Oh it's some the obsidian pillars and stuff. Something, something I can work with, maybe. I just hope that it's okay. I just want to clean this out so that if there is like any secret, like mob ambush activation thing I have to worry about. It's one of those bone dragons again. I can be prepared to deal with it. Excuse me, what? Oh god, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, I did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. They're gonna kill me. Shield OP, shield OP, shield OP, shield OP. Oh god, it's not gonna be strong anymore. Oh god. Come on. 
god, I'm actually struggling against these guys. Break my shield. Okay. Dealt with that. Okay, so that's an intense amount of server lag. Valuable. Yeah, no, probably there was nothing of value. Okay, let's move the way out of here. Hope you all enjoyed this uh, rather long, mm -hmm. nothing really productive video. Uh, uh, I, and I shall see you guys all later. I apologize for. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. I know. And I shall see you guys all later. Goodbye.